right, today on the channel we're going to get the Synergy Drag Link and Tie Rod ready to go for the new front end we're getting ready to put underneath the, the Jeep. Unfortunately, from taking them off, the boots are all damaged. So I'll show you how to get those replaced. So you can buy replacement boots for these. Now these aren't these are for the Synergy model, not for stock. It's like a pretty easy kit. We got a ring, got a boot. And of course, it's going to be greasy. All right, so let's start getting these off and getting them replaced. Well, I think it's going to be easiest with the little screwdriver. But there's what's typically is called a smallie ring. Just a ring that goes around there. It's not a snap ring. It just unwinds like a coil, right? So you just look for this one end, unwind it, and the boot should come right off. And I would just inspect it just to see if you have any damage that you can see. All right, now we'll grease these once it's all on. So there's a little, little edge here that the boot will fit up into. So just snap that onto the joint. Let's give it a little bit of rotation just to make sure it's on. Then we have the new ring. It's easy, as, it'll be easy if you just expand it. Get one half of it up into the area. It don't stretch it out of place so you bend it. And then just then just walk it on. And just turn it just a little bit just to make sure it's on. The other end just snugs up around the joint. So that was a tie rod, the drag link. It's going to be exactly the same in the kit. It's pretty much just what you've seen. You get a new boot, a ring. And a couple of synergy stickers. Okay, so this work that onto the joint just like the other one. We'll work the ring up on there. Here we go. One thing I hate is grease. Now I like to use that Lucas red and tacky grease. It's got the anti-seize in it. And this is a pretty cool little connector. You don't have to fight with it to get on and off. It's a little bulky, so sometimes I have to use a 90. Here we go. Alright, before we put these on, everything gets a good coat of anti-seize. And I use this copper high temp stuff. We'll get one end in. And we'll get the other end in.
Now I have no idea where it's at. All right, so we'll get these snowed, snowed down. All right, so it's time to get the tie rod set. So these are 24 inches long, and we're using the lug nuts to hold them down to the hub. And unfortunately, there will be math on this. So according to everything I've looked up, they want 0.1 to 0.2 degrees of toe in per side. So a lot of people use eighth inch, and that's pretty much why, because eighth inch is pretty much right in the middle of that. It's pretty close. So what we do is we'll just measure across each end. And is here we're at 67 and a half. And we're getting this set up so we can get the axles in the Jeep. In here we're at 67 and a half. So we're going to give this just a little bit of toe in. And this would be easier if it's actually in a Jeep too. Okay, so we want this to come in a little bit. we got to figure out which direction we got to go here. I think I'm going the wrong direction, but let's measure and find out. So I just took it one complete revolution. Now we're at 67 and three quarter. This is probably around 67 and a quarter. Yep. All right, so we got to take that the other direction. Okay, so that's back where we were at. Let me take it a half a turn. We are a sixteenth under sixty-seven and a half. And we're 16th over 67 and a half. So that gives us a total of eighth inch toe in. I think that'll do it. So we'll lock it back down. All right, so that was just putting new boots on and going through the tie rod, doing the same for the drag link. So you can buy those individually. They come in a little kit with that ring and you even get a couple stickers. It's pretty easy to do. Now this for a Synergy setup, I don't know if they'll work on anything else, but I mean they come they come in a couple days through normal mail. And as you follow along, we'll eventually get this steering dampener or steering stabilizer kit on this because it doesn't have the mount anymore for the stock steering stabilizer. So when this goes under, this kit will go on and I'll show you how to set that as well. So thanks for following along. And I'll see you in these other videos. Please let me know if you like this type of content. Leave me some comments. I'll leave all this stuff in the descriptions. Until then, this is Jeeping Mo.